Welcome to this week's Waste Room. Coming up on the show, we have got the pole position trophy, Christmas challenges, and special guests. Let's get on with it. I'm too excited. This week, we've got another special guest presenter with me on the sofa, Ollie Milroy. Yep, couldn't stay away. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love that. Can't get enough of the whole special sofa and the race room. We have also got a special guest. Cameron Twynham is in our green room. Hello. 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 First things first, though, let's get on with this week's news. The biggest news today is that Alan McNish has announced he's retiring from the World Endurance Championship. He retires with immediate effect, but it's off the back of a championship win with Audi and his teammates Loic Duval and Tom Christensen. This is him when I caught up with him at the FIA Awards on the red carpet. Yeah, without doubt, uh, the end of season celebrations are a fantastic uh, point for a driver because you know it's done. You know you've finally won and it's in the pocket uh, and especially the FIA awards because uh, it's only if you've you know been successful in one of the major championships in the world that uh, you are here and so from that point of view everyone's rubbing shoulders with each other we're all drivers and uh, so that we all know what it's taken to come here and uh, the fun starts. In World Touring Cars Citroen Racing have announced that Jose Maria Lopez will race alongside Sebastian Loeb and Ivan Muller as Citroen make their debut into the World Touring Car Championship for 2014. Jose Maria has already won two titles in the TC2000 and he took the crown last year in the Super TC2000. So Citroen have got an extremely strong lineup for next year. The Pirelli tyre test starts today out in Bahrain. There are four teams taking part, Red Bull, Mercedes, Ferrari and Toro Rosso. For Red Bull, it'll be Sebastian Buemi, and the Mercedes driver will only be Nico Rosberg because Lewis Hamilton has already started his high altitude training, so he can't make the test. For Ferrari, it'll be Pedro de la Rosa. Pedro de la Rosa actually holds the lap record for the Bahrain International Circuit. He'll be joined by Jules Bianchi, and for Toro Rosso, it'll be Daniel Kubiak and Jean-Éric Verne testing. And an update on the F1 seats and who's going where. Adrian Suttle has signed for Sauber, while he moves across from Force India, Nico Hulkenberg is going back to Force India and he'll be joined by Sergio Perez, who's also signed there with DJ Malia. We're not sure who's going to be taking the second seat at Sauber, but at the moment it looks like it'll be Sergei Sorotkin if, and that's only if, he gets his super license, but there are other alternatives being considered. There are three seats still up for grabs. Marusha haven't announced who will be partnering Jules Bianchi and Caterham haven't announced either of their drivers for next year. So we will keep you updated as and when we hear who is driving where. Now we're back to F1 rule changes for 2014. Now it's a very irrelevant rule, we think, at pole position, but there is going to be a pole position trophy next year for the person who gets the most pole positions throughout the season. So we have come up with our very own pole position trophy. Here it is. What do you think? What do you think the pole position trophy should look like? We think this is what it should, but why don't you comment below and tell us what your ideal pole position trophy would look like. That is your news. I'm very excited, it's our last tweets of the week. Let's look, what is in the tweety bin? Let's have a look. Right, Jack Leslie, we love you Jack Leslie. Thank you for always tweeting us throughout the season. Here is all of the helmets that Sebastian Vettel has had this season. As a driver, what do you make of this? That one's really cool because it looks like one of my old helmets. I love it. <laughs> Sebastian Vettel taking off Oli Milroy's helmet. Yeah. <laughs> um, Stolen my design. So that's your favourite one, but what do you think about changing your identity like this throughout the races? Uh, obviously, for contractual reasons, yes, yeah, so the Red Bull on the side. Um, so all of the helmets got that. But. Quite cool to mix it up a bit. It, it is, yeah, because they have like a Monaco special helmet and stuff like that. Yeah. I, I mean, really just... liked the Singapore one where it was kind of glittery, so in the lights it looked awesome. Yeah, but it was very girly, wasn't it? It's was quite girly. Nice. Yeah. He's almost doing a Nicky Rosberg Britney. I think. Oh, dear me. Well, you tell us which is your favourite helmet. Why don't you comment below and tell us? But in the meantime, next tweet. I absolutely love this. Nicky Lauder. Giving that statue a little bit of a great, but how brilliant is that? But grow per from wtf1.co.uk. We love your tweets. It's quite clever, isn't it? It's very his, uh, clever. His caption's quite clever, yeah. It's super <laughs> clever. I can't believe that Nicky Lauder was pictured doing this just now, but anyway, <laughs> I love that. If you can come up with any more uh, wordplay like this, we want to see it and hear about it. Next tweet, please. 
Now this is awesome. Max Chilton is an Olympic champion rower. False or true? I think, uh, I'm not sure if this woman got it. She doesn't strike me as though she might know what's, what's going on in the world of F1. No, she doesn't look like a typical Max Chilton fan, does she? <laughs> I haven't even seen but, this show Perfection. I mean, I know Max. I, I, I cycle with Max and uh, Casual I, think he'd, uh, I think he'd agree that uh, his weird little arms Wouldn't might be struggle no good. in a... <laughs> no I know he's going to give me some grief for this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so, Max, if you're watching. You know where um, he lives. Yeah, so... Uh, so not a rover. I don't think he's going to be a, a, a limited More of an F1 rover. driver, definitely. The most reliable F1 driver there is now. He's very good on the bike, but... <laughs> don't try and save <laughs> He's very good on the week. bike. <laughs> No, I love this. Lotus can always be relied upon to tweet out some cool stuff. This is the sporting regulations. You can see underneath the Christmas yeah, hat. This uh, is awesome. I right? love this. Any driver who has a pet named Roscoe will start from the back of the grid. And then any driver celebrating his birth the other day of qualifying will be granted pole position, 10 points in a Ferrari garage tour. The list is awesome. There are 18 here that we can see. Um, just amazing. Find the tweet, go onto pole position's Twitter and have a quick check because uh, we love the rules. They are awesome. Any of your, anyone's your favourite? Uh, I like the championship point deciders with the rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, I think that's a definite winner. Yeah, and I a cage fight. A cage fight would be quite exciting. Cage fight would be awesome. I think Bernie Eccleston needs to have a serious look at the new regulations yeah. and work a few of these amendments into it. Love it. Right, next tweet. Oliver Rowland. This is very good, I have to say, because I'm always trying to find my name on the coat can. Have you found mm. yours? No. No. No, but I haven't been looking at it. I don't really like Coke. Well, well you're never gonna you're never gonna get swapped with Coke now. Uh, Fernando mm. Alfonso, it's so close, you just need to like etch out the F. But I think that's awesome. I wonder if Alfonso has retweeted. It's quite clever. It's quite clever. I mean I wonder do you think Ollie's actually been searching around the shop for those two? I reckon he might have been. Oh, he, he must have been in Spain. Yeah, it must yeah. have been his name, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I don't think he's probably going to find those like, alongside the sort of Charlottes and yeah. the Rebecca's of them as well. No, probably not. So I think, yeah, go to Spain, maybe we'll find the Alonso one. And that yeah. is your tweets. Thanks for going through those with us. So it's time for our special guest to make his entrance onto the pole position sofa. Yeah. Thank you, Cameron Twynham. <laughs> Welcome. You guys know each other. You, you already knew each other when we were at our karting day earlier this year. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you know each other? Explain to those kind people at home. Uh, well, um, during the winter series, Ollie was uh, my driver coach, so sort of went through there, so he sort of, well, he just kept following me. He just kept, like, kept following, following you around. Just I, have been, been, you alone. I have been your key to success. How many trophies have you won this year? Uh, 16 or 17. Whoa! Yeah. So, so yeah, I've been coaching Cam all year. Yeah. Oh my god. They're all mentoring Ollie, him all, and all Ollie's trophies. Is he good to coach? Mm. Difficult. No, you Which difficult. is good because obviously it's, it's a, a challenge, but no, he's really good. I don't good, know what's on he's about. Good. I reckon you're a teacher's good. pet, you look like you'd be very well behaved. Not. I've got him under the thumb as well, so he does everything I tell him to do, which it's is definitely nice. not true. Well, <laughs> I'd like to be the teacher now. <laughs> so because it's Christmas, it's getting festive. Do you like our studio? Yeah, the sofa's bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> Sofa's bigger than you thought, I'm yes. bigger than you thought. We've got stockings, hats, crackers, yeah, it it's is all rather, festive. It, as you said last time, it is rather cosy on here with you yeah. guys. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, yes. It? Yeah, it's snug. Now, because it's Christmas, I've got a little Christmas quiz. No peeking, no peeking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a lyric from a Christmas song, a well-known oh, Christmas song. I thought you were going to sing. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Notes I wasn't saying. might come out, who knows. <laughs> I'm going to freestyle. Um, and you've got to follow the next bit and you've got to tell me the next line. Okay, so ready? It's not good. Are you ready? No. <coughs> no. All I want for Christmas is you. Is you. Cameron wins. Oh, is it a competition? One. Yeah. Yes. I thought we were working as a team. No, everything in this is a competition. It's okay, racing. So one nil to Cameron. Ding dong merrily on high. Uh, Don't leave me hanging. Um, Come on guys, think fast. Uh, 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 uh. I'm giving you a big clue there. Something about bells, isn't it? Yes. Bells is one of the words. It's like that TV bells program. Are ringing. No. It's like that TV program. <gasps> Nearly good. <laughs> the, the bells are ringing. But Almost, I'll give it to you. Jingle In bells. Heaven, the bells oh, are yeah. ringing. Yeah, okay, boys. so yeah. two nil. <laughs> okay, next one, number three. Wait a second, how is that two nil? I got <laughs> half of that. Okay. You definitely didn't. Have yourself a merry little <laughs> Christmas. Oh, Hey, your wish come true. Right. <laughs> We're just making up Christmas logic. Yeah, your wish come true. <laughs> it's let your heart be light, so no one wins that oh, one. Oh, that's close. No, no, no. Okay. It's close. 
cock, the herald angels sing. Glory, Glory to, to the newborn king. I won no, that. No, I you won definitely that. didn't. Okay, so I think <laughs> it's, 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 we're going to do that a point to each of you, so it's 3 1 then. Oh, okay. I love this one. <laughs> Christmas time. Mistletoe and wine. Oh, it's too close. <laughs> okay, so it's 3 2. So I think you get a point on that one. Okay, ready? Silent night. night. Holy night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely won that. <laughs> okay, so it's three all. It's three all. Full star. We're right, halfway through and we're three all. Okay, ready? Rocking around the, the Christmas tree. Have a happy. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> uh, have a happy. No. Have it's a... actually different. This one surprised me as well. It's at the Christmas party hop. Oh. Who knew? At the Christmas party hop. So that's, no one wins that one. That's definitely, so it's definitely been singing it wrong for years. Three all with three to go. Ready? <laughs> Last Christmas I gave you my heart. The very next day you gave it away. Very good. I didn't even know. I think she Ollie was Mulroy, singing. Ollie Mulroy is storming into the lead. 4-3 oh. at the moment. Is that on Four, love three. Two more to go. Is this right? Oh come all ye faithful. Do you know to high children? Joyful and triumphant. Um, Yes, very good, both of you. So it's 5-4. Okay, so I've got one last one. If you, if you tie at the end of this, I've got a bonus round. Okay, ready? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Had a very shy nose. Ollie Milroy. This is not fair. This is not fair. Ollie Milroy, your trainer has just won. Obviously. That's why I hired. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens if you win my Christmas song challenge, you get to wear the Christmas hat for the next challenge. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. Pop that on. Pop that on. Make it, sure that the text is the What's other way around. What's it say? Yes, it's got a Touch special wish on it. Yeah, okay. so pop that on. Okay, so for our next challenge. It's small. Yeah, don't worry, it didn't fit me either. Okay, for the next challenge. Now, I know boys love mince pies, so what we're going to do is time you one minute to eat as many as you can. <laughs> Are you ready? No. <laughs> you will both go on my first whistle. One, two, three, go. Oh, you went for the one. Quickly. Yeah, because it's not fair. Now, do you like mince pies? Um, Come on, Cameron, get involved here. Ollie's mm. going good. Uh, you don't have to chew all of it, you just got to shove it in. Come on. What? Ten seconds gone. Uh, Quick, go, go, go. Come on, boys. Guys, <laughs> nice. I was hoping Quite we were going to get some food. Yeah, well, sorry, there's no cream. I thought that might make you really <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on, Cameron, on the last one. Come on. How many calories in a mince pie? 206, we saw. Come on. Have we checked when we got here? Another bit. Do you eat Christmas pie? Mince pies over Christmas or not really? Mm -hmm. You do. Christmas pie, uh, mince pie or Christmas cake or pudding? Mm -hmm. Mince pie. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so let's have another one then. Come on, into your mouth. Right, on to your next. Ollie's winning. I think Ollie's going to be the Christmas <laughs> I think cake. I've lost. <laughs> You're doing well. You're not really exactly shoveling it in, Cameron. Oh dear. This is going well. Stop laughing. We've got four, 54, 55. Four seconds to go. Mm -mm. And stop. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad I invested heavily in the mince pie aspect of this race room. Well, I think Ollie wins. No. You haven't even finished our first <laughs> one. These are really nice. Oh, good, are they? Might have some after the show. Um, thank you very much for joining me for such high brown motorsport chat today. Uh, Ollie is our Christmas king. Cameron, thank you so much for still coming in. No. <laughs> you, you <laughs> no. Um, Only ate one. <laughs> yeah, well, that's 206 more calories than you would have. Um, <laughs> great effort, guys. Great, great effort on the Christmas songs, on the mince pies. Thank you very much for coming in. Keep an eye on pole position. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah. Quick word for it's me, been great. Oh. Thanks very really much. Uh, keep an eye on composition. There's going to be more next year. And of course, we're going to have lots more exciting motorsport content over the next few weeks. But for now, have a very happy Christmas. Subscribe to the, the channel and uh, keep watching. See you soon. Bye. 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 <laughs> That's so stupid. I'm drawing a race car from the 90s. I don't know why. Because as, as, a, as a kid, I used to drive. I used to draw. Wet or dry? Wet. Manual or automatic? Uh, manual. Boobs or bums? <laughs>